Going on The Bachelorette was like an unreal experience. You know, I'm just a regular fly-in, fly-out worker and to be put in that situation was something that was really new to me. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there in front of a beautiful woman trying to, you know, tell her how I'm feeling and, you know, you've got sound and um, camera guys and producers. There's like 300 people in the room. Um, for a normal Aussie guy, just to open up to a woman is tough, let alone doing that in front of all the the people in the room and then only thinking about the nation's going to be watching it as well. It was that kind of pressure that I found quite quite daunting. Um, but you know, I guess you know the 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 more the show progressed, the like uh, the easier and uh, more at ease I felt um, being in that whole scenario. Speaking of Sam, she gave her blessing when you're on the show and said you were going to be great. Have you kept in contact with her while filming or anything like that to get oh, any tips? No, I uh, I I'm after the Bachelor. I, I, I didn't talk to Sammy. She's you know going on her own journey with with Sash mm -hmm. and. Um, it just comes down to a level of respect between those two. You don't want to be calling her up and be like, oh yeah, Sammy, you want to catch up for a coffee? It's a bit weird. Right. So, um, you know, I just wanted her to do her own, own thing and saying that, so does she. 